Hi, I'm William Cahill, a roof thatcher uh, based in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm up here in Kinstone Circle in Fountain City on the Bluffs. I first started working here on uh, the St. Francis Chapel back in 2011, and I'm up here at the moment just doing some minor repairs before winter and I, I'm expecting it to get anywhere between 20 to 30 years out of the roof, weather permitting. Well, I have structures here in this country now up since about 1987. So I've got them up the best part of 30 years working in this country. And I think some of them will go a lot longer than that, but um, they're, still being, they're still lasting longer than a regular shingle roof today. I often get that question, you know, when I'm traveling all over the place, does the thatch roof leak? Well, it doesn't. I wouldn't be in business if it did. The steepness of the roof, the thickness of the thatch, and a good thatcher keeps it dry. And when you're at a 45 to 50 degree pitch roof, and it's snowing in the winter, it'll slide off at the first chance of melt. The wonderful thing about the thatch being green is the fact that it comes back every year, this Phragmites, when you harvest it. You cut it in the winter and um, it, it grows nice and straight and clean and it has a natural silicone in it and so it also helps with the insulation when you have a nice thick roof on the structure you have a great R factor with it of maybe 15 or more so it's cool in the summer warm in the winter and it's in keeping with the landscape and as you can see with the structure behind me the St. Francis Chapel you can see how well it blends into the landscape. Well, the, a lot of the materials I use are from the United States. They are the water reeds where I get from the marshes of New Jersey. I harvest up there in the winter and I let them dry out. I then also get the palm leaves that I'll use for palm thatching and repairs from the Florida region. And I use those on the islands then I'll often get materials in from Africa and from Asia for the different African structures and Japanese tea houses. And then with the uh, water reeds that I have, I'm able to do Irish, English and European structures with.